Welcome to Kennedy Now, a look at the progress of change at America's premier spaceport. NASA's partners in the agency's commercial crew program continue development of their spacecraft to carry astronauts to low Earth orbit in the next few years. May saw Sierra Nevada Corporation delivering an engineering test prototype of its winged Dream Chaser to the Dryden Flight Research Center in California. Later this year, the flight vehicle will be dropped from a helicopter before gliding under its own control to a landing on the Mojave runways. Here, NASA astronaut Jack Fisher practices just such a landing in a flight simulator at the Langley Research Center. The data from this flight will help engineers hone Dream Chaser's design. As for beyond low Earth orbit, NASA's new Orion capsule that will take the next generation of explorers into deep space has completed a series of tests to see how it handles the rigors of launch. Under development by Lockheed Martin, the vehicle will next be fitted with thrusters it will use to maneuver in space. Orion is scheduled for its first mission next year, the uncrewed Exploration Flight Test 1, to evaluate the spacecraft's systems and heat shield. Missions to exotic destinations was the theme of this year's robotics mining competition at Kennedy. Designers were challenged to build automated machinery that could excavate material similar to that found on other planetary bodies, an expected requirement for future space explorers. This has been Kennedy Now.